How do you stop rain, bugs and spider webs from ruining your security camera footage that's recorded at night? At night when it's dark, security cameras switch to IR mode, which means infrared mode. So there's these little IR lights around the edge of the camera that project a light to illuminate the field of view of the camera. You can't see that light with the naked eye, but sometimes you can see little red dots where those IR lights are. And in many ways, this is fantastic. You know, the industry has come up with a way to make cameras affordable and see in the dark. The big problem with the orientation of the lights with regards to the lens is that things that are moving in front of the camera, uh, debris from uh, snow, rain, precipitation of all sorts and insects that are crawling around or cobwebs being blown in the wind is that they pick up that bright light very close to the camera and that dominates the image. So the consequence of this is that you will see lots of false positives, so lots of motion events that don't have anything in them or more importantly that movement of things close to the camera being illuminated by the infrared is masking the real information that you want to see. So I asked Reddit for some ideas and apparently if you put two dryer sheets round your camera lens, the smell of them will repel bugs. Or, even more weirdly, if you put Vaseline over the camera lens, which surely is going to kind of get in the way of what the camera's recording, well, that will stop spiders from crawling all over the camera. I'm not really convinced by either of those, so thankfully there is a better solution. So this is a real problem that needs solving. And in the long term, we think the answer is software and Videoloft has got some work going on to tackle some of these issues. But there are also some immediate everyday fixes to the solution that you can deploy right away at very low cost. So to test this out, we set up a cheap infrared illuminator last night on a camera that's two megapixels with a cobweb across it. So we have some footage with the infrared illuminator and we have some footage with the illumination around the lens. The illumination around the lens, you can clearly see a spider web bouncing around and generating lots of false positives and blowing out the image. And what I mean by blowing out the image is that the detail around the sides and the center of the image is quite poor. The infrared illumination to the side of the camera, it was set about three and a half feet, so one meter away is a much, much sharper picture. And you'll notice that without cleaning the lens, the spider web has gone completely. The other important piece of information here is that the motion event that was recorded by someone walking across the screen was only 10 seconds long in the case of the illumination being put at the side, but it ran into over three minutes for the camera that had the illumination around the lens. So, simple fix, putting the infrared illuminator to the side has cleaned up the image, dealt with the false positives and got rid of the spider web without touching the lens. If you want any advice on which separate illuminators to use or how to disable the inbuilt IR on the camera, then just let us know in the comments and we'll film another video focusing on that.